how antibiotics promote the growth of fungus. So this is the second way how antibiotics damage the intestines by fostering the growth of candida albicans and other pathogenic fungi and yeast. This event, more than any other, precipitates leaky gut syndrome. This is one of the worst offenders, okay? So in a healthy situation, the small intestine epithelium maintains tight cell junctions, which contributes to the physical barrier involved in the intestinal absorption. In addition to the physical barrier, there is an important chemical barrier within the mucus that contains immune agents, which then neutralize any toxin that comes in contact. Candida exudes an aldehyde secretion, which causes small intestine epithelial cells to shrink. This is what allows that intestinal toxin to infiltrate through the epithelium and into the blood. The secondary barrier, immune agents, in the epithelial mucus remain the sole agent for neutralization. Eventually, the immune system becomes exhausted, rising to this challenge over and over and over again. So if you want to see a breakdown of this, we're going to have to go back to one of our first videos, which is um, what is leaky gut, and it's going to show you exactly how this occurs. Okay. So the damage done by the candida, candida is to the intestinal epithelial barrier, which is starting to allow the absorption of seriously toxic agents and chemicals, which then enter the bloodstream and affect numerous organs, including the brain and the thyroid.